Welcome to Math Understood, and today we are going to be exploring circumference and diameter. We are going to be exploring these concepts through the book Circumference and the Dragon of Pi, a math adventure by Cindy Neuschwander, illustrated by Wayne Gihan. Again, here is the title of the book, and I just want to highlight how we're going to have an awesome math adventure. Circumference and his son, Radius, sat in the shade of a tree, enjoying a delicious midday meal. Partway through the lunch, Circumference grabbed his stomach and doubled over in pain. Oh, my belly, he wailed. It feels like fire. Radius, run to the castle, find the good doctor, and get me a cure. So from this text, I just want to highlight the words circumference, which is the measure of the distance around the outside of a circle or the perimeter of a circle, and radius, which is the measure from the center of a circle to the outside edge of a circle. So to put this another way, circumference is the boundary of a circle, and radius is the distance from the center of a circle to a point on the circumference. Radius ran to the castle and up a winding staircase to the doctor's workroom. The doctor was out. Radius entered the mysterious place full of plants and potions. What shall I do, he wondered. Father is in great pain. I've got to bring him something. And as you may have noticed, it says back in three days. So just a math problem for you. Three days is what percent of a week? So I'd like you to pause the video and solve this. Now that you've had some time to solve this, let's work through it. So we have 3 divided by 7 possible days in a week, which gives us a value of about 0 0.43. And if we convert that to a percentage, we have 43%. Radius looked at several bottles. Hmm, he murmured. This says fire belly. Father has a fire in his belly. Maybe this will cure it. Radius picked up the bottle and hurried back to circumference. The knight gratefully took the bottle and gulped the liquid down. Kaboom! Circumference disappeared and a dragon now sat on the grass. Ah! screamed Radius. Where is my father? Here, hissed the dragon, flame slithering out of its mouth. Help me, it pleaded, and belched puffs of smoke into the sky. I f feel beastly, its arms pedaled wildly as its tail thrashed back and forth. Don't worry, father, I'll get help, Radius called over his shoulder as he ran back towards the castle. The guards on watch had also seen the big explosion. When the smoke cleared, they saw the dragon and alerted everyone in the castle to the danger. Plans were made. Messengers were sent across the countryside to ask nearby knights to come and vanquish the fire-breathing beast. Mother, mother, called out Radius as he hurried into the castle. There you are, answered his mother, Lady Di of Amateur, looking relieved. Come inside quickly, a dragon has been spotted nearby. Now what I want you to take out of the text is the word diameter, which is the distance from one edge of the circle through the center of the circle to the opposite edge of the circle. So to show you what diameter is in another way, diameter is a line segment that joins two points on the circumference of a circle and passes through the center of the circle. The diameter is the longest line segment that can be drawn inside of a circle. I know, Radius answered, it is father. Radius told his mother what had happened. We must find another potion that will change your father back into himself. I'll go look for the doctor, she said. We don't have much time. The knights plan to slay the dragon tomorrow morning. Radius ran back to the doctor's workroom. He looked at drawings and notes. He peeked inside boxes and bags. He searched through book after book. Finally, he spotted a curious-looking container with a set of spoons and a poem. It might be the cure. The circles measure. Measure the middle and circle around. Divide so a number can be found. Every circle, great and small, the number is the same for all. It's also the dose, so be clever, or a dragon, he will stay forever. Measure the middle and circle around, thought Radius. I'll bet Geo of Metri can help. Carpenters measure things every day. Geo was with his brother, Sim, when Radius arrived in their workshop. 
They were looking at a wheel Sim had made. No matter where you look around the circle, the spokes go across the middle and cut the circle exactly in half, Sim said. Such a lovely design, complimented Geo. So what I'd like you to take away from the text this time is the word geometry, which is the mathematics of the properties, measurement, and relationships of points, angles, lines, surfaces, and solids, as well as symmetry, which is when both halves of an object or shape are identical. When Radius heard across the middle and around the circle, he had an idea. He needed to go back and reread the poem. Goodbye, he called as he rushed out. So, as you can see from the two wheels illustrated, the diameter extends from one point on the circumference through the center of the circle to the other, and radius extends from one point on the circumference just to the center of the circle. As he ran through the kitchen, he saw his cousin Ladyfingers. She was baking pies. She measured strips of dough into equal lengths with the span of her fingers. Help me finish the last pie, please, she pleaded. Radius thought about Sim's wheel. He arranged the strips on the pie like the spokes. There were three strips left over. He draped them around the rim of the pie pan. One, two, three strips go almost all the way around the edge. Pinky, may I have a little more dough? Asked Radius. Pinky was Ladyfinger's nickname. Ladyfingers handed him another strip of dough. Radius folded it in half, but half was longer than he needed. He folded it in quarters, but even a quarter of the piece was too long. He folded it in eighths, and an eighth was almost right. Almost, but not exactly. Pinky, I've got to get going, said Radius. Farewell. And I just want to point out that it took three pieces of dough and a little bit more to go all the way around the circle, so just keep this number in mind as we move forward. Radius knew the magic number was more than three, but exactly how much more did it take to make a whole circle? Back in the workshop, Radius found Geo's measuring tape, a long strip of cloth marked in inches. He measured 49 inches across the middle of a wheel and 154 inches around the outside edge. 154 divided by 49 is 3 and 1 sevenths, he figured out. Radius measured big wheels and small wheels. Every time, the distance around was three and one-seventh times the distance across. He stuffed the measuring tape into his pocket and ran off to the doctor's room. As Radius ran around a corner, he saw his mother coming toward him. There you are, Lady Di cried. I cannot find the doctor anywhere. What are we going to do? It's all right, mother. I know what to do. He showed her how he figured out the magic number. He measured an onion slice, a basket, a bowl, and a round cheese. Lady Di drew some diagrams to show the measurements. This makes sense, she said. Good work. I'll go and tell your father while you get the medicine. Don't forget, we have only until morning. Radius went back to the doctor's workroom to get the medicine. I think I understand these directions, he said out loud. But if I measure the wrong dose, father will remain a dragon forever. I must be sure I am right, said Radius. He sat down to reread the poem. As he read, his eyelids slowly closed. Soon he was fast asleep. When Radius awoke, the sun was rising. Oh no, I must hurry, he said. He grabbed the medicine and headed toward the woods. The smoke and flames led him right to circumference the dragon. The sleeping dragon was lying in a circle with its tail in its mouth. Just then, it opened one eye and hissed. Hello, son. Father, you're a circle too, but such a big circle. Radius looked at the dragon doubtfully. Could the distance around the dragon circle really be three and one-seventh times the distance across it? Just then, they heard the blaring of trumpets. Hurry, Radius, Lady Di said. The knights are coming. So when we convert three and one-sevenths to a decimal, what do we get? Well, we get the number 3.14287, and it's a repeating decimal, and it's non-terminating, so it just continues on and on. So to put this another way, pi is the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter, and its value is about 3.14. Mother, Radius said, hold this part of the tape while I measure across the middle of the dragon circle. Circumference cried out, why are you measuring my diameter? As he spoke, his fiery breath burned the measuring tape so that Radius could barely read the numbers. It looked like seven feet, 
But was it? Together, Radius and Lady Di measured 22 feet around the outside of the dragon circle. Circumference whimpered. Must you measure my circumference now? Radius quickly divided 22 by 7. Hurrah! The circumference of the circle divided by the diameter was 3 and 1 seventh. So why did we pick the numbers 22 and 7? Because the diameter was at 7 and the circumference was measured to be 22. So 22 divided by 7 gives us the value of 3.1428 or pi. Now the knights are surrounding them with swords drawn. Radius, Lady Di, we've come to save you, they shouted. It was now or a dragon forever. Radius gave the creature three and a seventh spoonfuls. Kaboom for room! A big explosion shook the forest. When the smoke cleared, a hearty human circumference stood in their midst. Circumference leaned over and hugged his son. Thank you, Radius, but how did you do it? Radius explained about the pie and the measurements. Circumference and the knights listened with amazement. Cheering, they swept Radius up on their shoulders and returned to the castle. Pies! Let's eat some pies! shouted Circumference. Radius saved my life because of a pie. At the celebration, Radius held up a pie and explained what he had discovered. I found out that the outside edge of a circle, called the circumference, is three and one-seventh times as long as the diameter, which is the measure across its middle. It's true for any circle. I say we honor this new discovery, said circumference. From now on, pi with an E will be for eating. Pi without an E will be the name of this number for all things round. And as you can see here, this is the mathematical symbol for pi. Gio and Sim stepped forward and gave Radius a present. This is a drawing compass. May it lead you to other great discoveries about circles, they said. And Radius had the seat of honor for the entire Pi celebration, which lasted three days, three hours, and 24 minutes. Pi is an interesting number. We often represent it with the 16th letter of the Greek alphabet. It is usually expressed as a decimal number, 3.14159. The part to the right of the decimal point is about a seventh. So what does this all mean? Well, we can find the circumference of a circle using the simple formula right here. So circumference is equal to pi times diameter, where c represents circumference, pi represents pi, and d represents diameter. And since pi is a repeating decimal, in grade 7 math, we're just going to use the value of 3.14. So what we're going to do now is we're going to check out some of these calculations that Radius did in the book. So we've got about an 11 inch circumference with a 3.5 inch diameter. So we know that circumference is equal to pi times diameter. And pi is equal to 3.14, and our diameter is 3.5. So we times these two together to get the value of 11, which is what they got right here. So now to check out the next one, we've got a circumference of about 22 inches with a diameter of about 7 inches. So we times pi 3.14 by the diameter of 7 inches right here, and we get a value of 22, which is the same value that they got. So another one, we have a circumference of about 44 inches with a diameter of 14 inches. So we go 3.14 times our diameter of 14 gives us a value of about 44 inches, which is what they found. So for our last example, we have a wheel of approximately 55 inches with a two and a half inch wedge, which brings the circumference to approximately 57 and a half inches. And our diameter is 17 and a half inches. So we times our diameter by pi and get a value of 57.5, which is what Radius found out in the story. So now that we've done some examples together, I want you to try and do some on your own. So I want you to solve for circumference and diameter when radius is equal to 6 meters. So pause the screen and try to solve this. Now that you've had some time to work on this example, we're going to solve it together. So radius times by 2 will give us diameter. But diameter 
divided by 2 will also give us radius. So this is something important to remember as we move forward in other examples. So for this one, we already have our radius. We're trying to find diameter. So we're going to go 6 meters times by 2 will give us a value equal to 12 meters. So this is our diameter. Now to solve for circumference, we're going to times by pi, our diameter value, which gives us a circumference equal to 37.7 meters. Now it's important that we include to one decimal place because our radius was given to us in one decimal place. It's also important that we include a unit of measurement as well. I would also like you to try this example. So for this example, we have our circumference value, but we're trying to solve for the diameter. So pause your video and try and work through this example. Now that you've had some time to work on this example, we're going to solve it together. So we already have our circumference value of 10 meters is equal to pi times diameter. If the circumference is equal to pi times d, so the diameter must be equal to the circumference divided by pi. So in order to do that, we're going to move pi over to the other side of the equation so that our d ends up equaling 3.2 meters. So this is the last example I would like you to work through. We are trying to solve for circumference when we know that our diameter is 5 centimeters in length. So pause your screen and work through this example. Now that you've had some time to work through this example, we're going to do it together. So we've got our circumference is what we're trying to solve. So we have pi times our diameter of 5 centimeters, which gives us a circumference value equal to 15 0.7 centimeters, and because our diameter has no decimal places, we're going to round up so our circumference is equal to 16 centimeters. So this is the end to our math adventure, and I'm hoping you learned a lot about circumference and diameter.